consuming doing it this way. You can't immediately go back to the bass player or the drummer and say, hey, just try it, think a different idea, let's just jam it out. It's actually a little, it's a little something that I miss, is being able to have, you know, all the different minds on the song working at the exact same time. I love live sound because you really got to be on your game and it's kind of like a really cool rush to get everything working as fast as you can and get it, make sure you got it all the way it's supposed to be. Uh, whereas in the studio, it's it's a lot more creative. You have a lot more freedom and time to actually you know, mold stuff. It's a little bit more meticulous. So I like them both for different reasons. Sometimes it's the mistakes and the accidents that you know really make the most amazing moments. And and you got to find an environment every once in a while where you just don't know what you're doing. In a lot of cases, I want it to sound live. I want it to have that kind of energy. Um, Especially with like a vocal performance, I want it's really sterile being a, a vocalist, a, a singer, staring in, you know, st standing alone in a room and, you know, getting the same energy that that person gets on stage with 10,000 people in front of them. I'm always imagining what my bass player would be saying or what my guitar player would be saying or doing. I'm imagining how they would have set up their, their rigs what the club size would have been like, what the audience would have been doing to respond. And so I'm constantly imagining the whole environment and acting as though I'm in it. When you buy a CD or whatever, download it or whatever you do these days, you want to, and you're a fan of the band, you want to have it sound like they're sitting right in front of you playing. Of course, that's impossible, but the opposite is true in a live environment. You want them to sound like the CD you just bought. So this is time consuming because it's a lot of trial and error. Like I may record a heap of guitar parts and get really far along with that and then suddenly realize it's totally not doing anything to support right. the drums and the bass and the vocals or just the song itself. So it's a strange process. It's like working backwards all the time. <laughs> If I say something to you and you say it back to me, you might say something completely different. And until I realize that you heard something different, it won't even occur to me that you didn't understand exactly what I meant. Right. A lot of music is that kind of call and answer, and so is the relationship between the artist and, and the audience. It's really important as an artist to do it for yourself, but it's even more important as a communicator to know that what you're trying to get across is actually what's getting across. The real masters are the guys who are able to translate what the intention is right to the end of the recording.